if your organization manages financial assets, you're probably making mistake number one, which is not integrating DocuSign across your systems. And this mistake comes from the false assumption that DocuSign is going to automate all your document workflows. The truth is that when DocuSign is not integrated, DocuSign can only help you automate one out of the four phases of the life cycle of every document. Each document is to be created by someone, sent to someone, completed by someone, and stored by someone. Now, imagine that you're onboarding a new client. You want your new client to complete your onboarding form and sign your investment management agreement. Without DocuSign being integrated, your process will look a little bit like this. First, you're copying information from your CRM to the form if you want the forms to be pre-filled by the time your clients open them. Then you're sending that form you just created and email it to your clients. You're either using a PDF or maybe you're using an e-sign template inside of DocuSign. Then once your clients receive them, they might be frustrated because they have to provide the same information they've already given you before and sometimes having to repeat that information across different forms. Then you're wasting valuable time to chase the clients, chase the documents. And once you've received the documents completed and signed, you have to make sure they're completed correctly. And you also need to enter the information into another system. So you have to look at the document that your clients have given you and then extract that information and place it somewhere in your backend systems. And most likely you're doing this manually. And that's how errors are creeping in and how you're wasting your precious time and resources. This happens because DocuSend can only automate the completion phase when it's not integrated. DocuSend cannot automate what happened before or what happened after. And that's because DocuSend would need to access all the systems. And without an integration, it's not possible. But what if you could integrate DocuSend with your other systems? How would your life be different? Well, it would look like this. From your CRM, you will be looking at your client's record. You click on one button. That button will then instantly send a set of forms to your clients. These forms will be pre-filled with the information your clients have given you before. Your CRM will also be able to tell you whether your clients have completed the documents. And once your clients do so, all the information your clients have entered in the forms will automatically update your CRM and any other systems that you might use. And all of this just happened in one click instead of hours of annoying work and back and forth. So how can you do this? You need to build bridges between your forms and your different backend systems. The easiest way to create integrations is to use Zapier or make.com to connect all your apps. If you want to learn more about how you can automate your document workflows, you can watch this video where I explain the step-by-step -step process that we follow at SoluSign to automate any document workflows for our clients. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi and I'm an ex-DocuSign staff and the founder of SoluSign Consulting. Since 2019, we've been helping investment and wealth management practices save time by automating paperwork and systems so they can serve more clients with fewer resources. So if you're interested in our help to automate your workflows, your document workflows, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. But for now, let's find out if you're making mistake number two, which is relying solely on DocuSign for your document needs and particularly for data capture. Let me explain. It might seem convenient to use DocuSign to collect your client's information during the onboarding phase because you've already got a subscription with DocuSign and you want to make the most of it. Great idea, in theory. But here's the catch. Third-party PDF forms that contain complex tables will not be mobile responsive. And most of the time, forms contain tables. DocuSign does now have a product called WebForm that's meant to make all your complex forms mobile responsive. But at the time of recording this video, Web forms cannot be pre-filled. This means that clients will have to provide the information they've given you before, and therefore I'm not recommending it until that functionality, which is on the roadmap, is delivered. So for now, I want you to picture your clients struggling to fill out a complex PDF form on their iPhone, getting frustrated because they can't read the text properly. Uh, it's hard for them to understand which field applies to their situation and which field doesn't. They're just seeing too much information on the document. And so this causes them to either skip some fields or provide you with incorrect information and which leads you to chase your clients and maybe even lose your clients if they just decide that it's too hard to work with you. Personally, when somebody sends me a complex form or like sends me something that I have to print, fill out and scan and send back, I just don't feel that they really value my time and that they don't care about how I feel. So what's the fix? If you use something like Jot Forms for your complex forms and tables and data collection, it's a much better experience because it's fully mobile responsive. 
Jotform allows you to create forms and customize them with a simple drag and drop form builder. It can transform any non-mobile responsive form into a mobile responsive form. And you can also pre-fill it and integrate it with all your backend systems. And so if you combine Jotform with DocuSign to collect the signatures, it creates a much smoother client experience, particularly during onboarding. And it's just as secure as DocuSign and makes life easier for everyone involved. It's also very inexpensive because the cheapest plan costs around $29, uh, $29 per month and it allows you to submit a thousand forms per month. So check out Jotform. The link is in the description just down below. I get a free trial. Now let's talk about mistake number three, which is not using DocuSign Power Forms in your client portal. Your clients will often want to change information. For example, they want to change their address or maybe they want to make a new request. They want to open a new account or they want to close an account or they want to make an additional investment. And so in the Uber Eats, Netflix, Amazon Prime era that we all live in, clients are expecting the same self-service experience from your firm. And so if clients have to email your reps and wait for them to reply to them to complete basic operations, it just wastes everyone's time and time is money, right? And so an investor or client portal with embedded forms where your clients can sign can change all of that. Because let's just say that a client of yours has invested $250,000 in your fund. And due to high performance, because you're killing it, now they want to invest another 200K. So instead of emailing your customer service rep, and wait for them to send your clients an additional subscription form or investment form, whatever it is, then your clients could go simply to their portal and click on, I want to make an initial investment, enter the amount, the document loads, it's pre-filled, they sign it electronically, there's no waiting, there's no manual entry, it's just smooth automated operations. So let's summarize the top three mistakes and how you can solve them. If you find your team wasting too much time on paperwork, you can stop the bleeding by integrating DocuSign with all your backend systems. And you can do this with make or zapier.com. If you're using DocuSign for complex forms and you're struggling to get your clients to complete them with accuracy and speed, consider also using a form software that's fully mobile responsive like JotForm along with DocuSign. It's not meant to replace DocuSign. Use it along with DocuSign. The link to sign up for JotForm is in the description just down below. And if your team is wasting time processing client requests that could be automated, build a client portal and embed your forms inside of them so that your clients can perform operations that don't require your team to interact with them. So if you avoid these mistakes, you'll be, you'll be well on your way to much more efficient and client-friendly workflows. And if you want our help with any of these, you can schedule a consultation with one of our automation consultants using the link in the description just down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.